folks, and welcome to another lesson. This one is brought to you by all these lovely patrons who voted for it in last month's patron vote, I think. Hey, Jealousy, by the Gin Blossoms. Cracking tune. Um, not terribly difficult, but we're going to go through all the bits, solo and all, and both guitar parts. So let's crack on with the tone first. Now, you want an overdrive pedal? I'm using the Great Eastern Effects Designer Drive. Sounds like this. <laughs> And I'm going to use that for the solo as well. All that good stuff. You also want some clean parts for the... So that's just my, um, my amp clean. And you're good to go. So let's crack on with the first part. It starts with this. So you've got 464, four, right, on the G string. But I think he's playing this double stop. Then you're going to play D5 to E to F sharp minor to E again, okay? And then you play that, tag that on at the end as well. So the main riff is... And then... So in terms of strumming, you're going to play down, down, up, change. When you change, it's up, down, down, up, down. So just those two parts. Now one other thing I think is in there is this. So when you play the chord, You can add that in as well, right? I think it's in there. Acoustically, it's played, um, but it's quite hard to hear in the mix, but I would go for that as well, right? So you've got. Then you go to the uh, F sharp minor bar chord. Down, down, up, down, change. Up, down, and then this fill. And you go around again. So that is. All right, pretty straightforward. Second guitar part's playing pretty much the same chords, but there's a subtle variation. It's kind of letting them ring out a bit longer. So you've got this. Around, okay, let me take the drive off for a second so you can hear that. So that's um, on the four and, okay, you change. Change again. Like that, right, okay. The only difference is you'll hear the F sharp played like that. With the open B and E string. And then you're into the verse with this clean guitar part. It goes like this. And that goes around, okay? So it's D5 again. Slide your first finger down, then your second finger goes onto the second fret on the string below. That's the E major part. Here I use my little finger to go to the fourth. And then uh, my first and second fingers on the second frets. So you can get that open E string, right? And then back down to the E. I'm using my third finger there. Now behind that, the other guitar part is playing just some, some par muted stuff, which goes. And round, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. It's just D, E, F sharp, E, right? But you're just playing them. I think it's played uh, here. So you do five par mutes. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, and then more palm mutes. Just as per the tab, right? Then you're into the chorus, which is cool. It goes like this. That's the first time. Second time, the chords change slightly and you play. Okay, so it's just a bunch of octaves. Start on the 12th fret on the A. So the pattern is down, down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up. Okay. Then a slide from the seventh to the ninth. And then you go seven, five. Rests in between, right? So they're you know quite staccato. And then the fourth bar is just up, 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 down, up. So that through. Okay, then you go up to the 12th fret again. So you're just going between the 12th and the 14th. This that's down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And then for this part again, just slight variation in rhythm. You go. Which is down, down, up, up, down, down, I think. Uh, the last one I play up, so up to you what you do there. Uh, and then the um, other guitar part is playing um, A to D5. Down, down, up, up, up. Up, down, 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 okay? Just flattening my finger for the A, right? Then you go F sharp. So down, down, whack, whack, up, up, down, 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 I think. And then when you go to the D5. That's down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. All right, one other noodly bit before the solo. He starts playing clean, I think. These chords. Something along those lines, right? So you've got uh, 16, 14, and then the two open strings. And you're changing on the four and, so three, four. Then we've got the solo, which is cool. The first part goes like this, two, three. Okay, so we've got second fret up to the 14th. That uh, comes in on the, th on the fourth beat. So one, two, three. So you slide up and then you um, strike the note again when you hit the 14th fret, okay? Then you've got this little rundown. That's cool. So the first part's easy enough, just single notes. And then this bar is basically get ready to put your second finger on the 10th fret because you're going to do one of these. And then. So it's quite a meandering line. You've got. Okay, so let's break it down. We've got just kind of hangover from the last last phrase. 
then you've got this. All pentatonic stuff. Then immediately, uh, it's a very quick slide, right? Again, it's all pentatonic stuff. And then you've got this um, double stop action with a little hammer on and some slides. Just like that, okay? Pretty straightforward. Then we've got this funky part. All right, so we've got six times of this. Like that, so I'm just squeezing down and then, you know, muting so that you get the, the percussiveness. And then the last two bars go down, down, up, down, down. Then you go into these bends. Nice country rock bend. And then again, it, it carries on playing right throughout. There's not, not any sort of breathing space, really. So you've got... Okay. Again, pretty straightforward. It's just... But you're adding in the odd double stop, which really makes the difference. Then you've got some more bends, some more country bends and um, picking while you hold the bends. Do you know what I mean? It just keeps going, right? So you've got um, this whole phrase. That's the first part, so it's just a series of bends, but it's the um, picking and the rhythm you need. So just a bit of practice on that, and then you follow that with... All right, so again, there are just some double stops and uh, there's a little grace note hammer on. And that's it. I think those are all the parts. You're done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Cheers.